Yesterday, Chris Tucker took to Instagram with his own version of carpool karaoke. Chris brought out his infamous Michael Jackson impression and sang along to the lady in my life. Fans love seeing Chris bring out one of the impressions that made him famous, and they called on him to come back to comedy and make the fourth Rush Hour movie. Today on the show, we've got our comedy hype analyst, Rex Garvin, calling in to talk about whether or not Chris Tucker should make a return to comedy. So Rex, so that was captioned mood and it definitely makes you feel good. But a lot of people were in the comments telling Chris, you know, Chris, it's time for you to come back. We want to see a fourth Rush Hour movie. After seeing that clip for you, do you think it's time for Chris Tucker to make a comeback? I know for a fact it's time for Chris Tucker to come back. You know what? No Rush Hour. No, no. Let's do something different with Chris. Let Chris do another kind of movie. Now, should Chris get back in the stand-up? No, 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 uh-uh. Chris should do more movies. Uh, in that clip, Chris seems like he's having a lot of fun and he found his happy. He looks good, he got nice teeth, his skin is good, he got everything going for him. And you know what? Not only is he funny, he feels funny. You can feel, there's something very happy about Chris Tucker right now. Why do you think he should get back into movies and not stand up? I know you've talked about it on our platform before about him needing that time. And as we know, we haven't seen Chris Tucker in God knows how long. It's, it's been some years. So, you know, he's given that time that you've discussed before. So do you think that, you know, maybe he, he has a chance in stand up or what's the reason for him being able to return in movies but not stand up for you? I'm talking from the comedian's mind. It's not player hating. I'm not putting the guy down. Comedy Hype is a channel for comedians first. I'm glad there's audience members, but this is a comedian's channel. I'm talking from a humorous comedian point of view. Chris, stand up, he's somewhere else now. Okay, just like I was talking about Eddie Murphy, that's another level. Chris doing stand up right now, it doesn't seem to be fun. It doesn't seem to be fun. He's a great movie actor now. Keep in mind, Def Jam was a flashback. He was young and cute, it was, it was his time to get in the pool of whatever comedy is. If it was stand up at that time, so-called stand up at that time, where he was funny as hell at that time, that was that time. But now in this time in Chris Tucker's life, it's screen movie time. Too bad he wasn't coming to America. He should have been coming to America. He would have been good to come to America. He would have been excellent. Why do you think, why do you think Chris stopped doing comedy? He needed, he needed time to check out his drama. Like I said on other videos, that's, I got a lot of good videos here on Comedy Hype. I got a lot of good videos. And for those who didn't know what I said about Chris Tucker, go back and see what I said about Chris. And maybe some of you that was player hating me, you should really see what I was saying. Okay, you were so busy trolling my black ass. You were so busy trolling, you didn't, you didn't listen to what I was really saying. So now that you kind of know my, my flavor, how I roll, go back to what I said about Chris. And it's not a put down. It was a deep observation. I think some people just want to know what makes you so passionate about Chris Tucker? Because I think, I think that's what a lot of people are seeing in your videos. You know, you just have this passion about Chris Tucker. So I think the question is from the people, you know, why are you so passionate about Chris Tucker? What is it about him that, you know, you're, you're so adamant about your stance um, about Chris Tucker and his career? That's a fantastic question, Symphony. Um, because I saw him when he came up. I love comedy. Um, you know, like I said, I, I was there, I was there before a lot of people started. I, I was there at the beginning and I saw the process. Um, before a lot of comedians came on screen, they were, I was in the playground when they were starting out. And Chris Tucker, Bruce Bruce, Jamario Jamario, Chocolate, Small Fry, Tim Murray, uh, uh, so many other great performers, Arnez Johnson. They came to that comedy act and they found another version of themselves at the comedy act. Let me tell you this, Symphony. 
had the Comedy Act Theater, not no other club in Atlanta, and I play Aiden, thank God for other clubs because we need laughter, but had the Comedy Act Theater continued, had it been an institution, man, you would have seen different levels of comedy coming out of that club on 8th and Peachtree. Uh, and Chris Tucker was from the Comedy Act Theater. Um, I'm so adamant about Chris because I saw his beginning and, I, and I'm a fan of his. Mm -hmm. And I know what the comic mind goes through. See, Chris, see the Comedy Act Theater wasn't just some nigga club on the corner. And I hate to say it like that, but I'm keeping it real. That place was really, really deep. Just like you have the punchlines, the funny bones and the improvs. That's what the Comedy Act Theater was. It was the first black comedy club of its kind. So when I talk about Chris Tucker, Chris Tucker is an icon, but mm -hmm. I, I have every right to say what I say because I, I know the formula and the transformation of a comedian. Uh, Chris Tucker right now will be good doing more films. Bring us more Chris, bring us more different kind of characters. Some of the characters we've seen before grow from that, from what people know, but bring something else. It's time for Chris to get back into comedy on film but not stand up. Why? Because Chris is not really a stand up comedian. I think that's what a, a lot of people are, are wanting. I mean, they're putting it in the comments. You know, we want to see more of you, especially in film. Um, but someone who is passionate as you, Rex, and you've seen Chris, you know, girl, what is it that, what would be your message to Chris if he sees this? What is the message that you want to send Chris Tucker at this time in his career from Rex Garvin? Is what, okay, thank you, Symphony. You asked some great questions. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you, Rex. And I'm serious too. I mean, that's not like an intelligent person asking you questions. Bless you. Um, Chris should, you know what I would, here's what I would do with Chris. Instead of doing stand up, I would do one man shows, like, like theater shows. Um, I'll do one man shows where people see him live, have a nice set in the back, and him doing one man shows, that kind of comedy. Mm -hmm. Not stand up, but I call it theater comedy, theater comedy. He have a couple of, maybe have Sherman Golden with him, have a couple of his friends, because Chris got a lot of uh, comedian friends in Atlanta that love him. So Sherman Gold, Golden's one of them. Uh, Sherman's been knowing Chris from way back. Right. Have, uh, have Chris's crew with him and do something on stage. You know, and I think that'd be really good for Chris to do some uh, live comedy shows with other people around him. The same thing Tyler Perry was, Tyler Perry's like a genius of that too, of course. And Chris Tucker should do that. So uh, no stand up, but do one man, uh, a couple of other comedian plays, uh, live shows, right. and do uh, his work on film and explore the character of Chris Tucker. Thank you, Rex, so much for calling in. You heard from us now. We want to hear from you in the comments below. After seeing that clip of Chris Tucker, do you think it's time for him to return to comedy? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson.